it's good to have a record on Zoom. Yeah. So, all right. Now. Yep, definitely, definitely live. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Zero Dark Nerdy, the world's most notorious pop culture podcast. Uh, this is your boy, Brian, a.k.a. El Nino. Today, I'm joined with Matthew from Zero Dark Nerdy, as well as Whitney and Jane from Green Compass. How's everybody doing today? Hey, y'all. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Good, good. Well, it's good to see y'all. Thank you so much for joining us. For those of you that may not know, uh, Matthew, Whitney, and Jane, uh, all of us went to good old Page High School here in Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, me, Whitney, and Jane were 98. Matthew was 99, correct? 99. Yep. Yep. I thought so. So, all, all, all friends, um, you know, today we're just going to have a fun, organic conversation about CBD, all things CBD. We're going to talk about green compass, kind of like. Uh, initial reactions. Matthew and myself are actually kind of new to the CBD world, so we're going to be asking Whitney and Jane some questions as well. But um, whoever wants to kick it off, whether you know be Whitney, just kind of tell us a little bit about your introduction into uh, you know the world of CBD and Green Compass. Sure thing. Uh, yeah, I am again Whitney here, um, and so Green Compass and CBD entered my life because I pretty much my entire life have had certain ailments, um, anxiety, lack of sleep. For those of you that know me, I've been through, been through quite, quite some stuff. And uh, so it came to me really organically and uh, I don't take any sort of narcotics or any medications or anything like that. Oh, you know what, wait, let me pump the brakes right here and say, we're not here to make any sort of medical claims. That's I right, have I to do that. Out there. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, we are not doctors. <laughs> yep. Don't yeah, try to sue I'm us. Not, I'm not a physician. Yeah. <laughs> not. yeah. So we are we are legitimately here to have a, a conversation with you guys and answer any questions and and really share the experience because it it personally and I know Jane and I have connected on so many levels. Um, with it just being um, a benefit added to our lives and helping us with our personal ailments and seeing it for not only ourselves, but other people and our pets. We both are uh, pet care takers, givers. Which would you say? <laughs> givers, <laughs> I guess. Care are you talking about this? What was What's that, that Are you talking physically or mentally or both? Both, both, absolutely. Yeah. So for me, just to, to get me out of the way, um, it, like I said, anxiety, I lost my brother, my husband. Um, so as a result of those things, I don't sleep very well. I have a lot of anxiety and um, physical ailments that result of, from that, I have a tremor, which I've had my entire life, but it helps with that tremendously, mm -hmm. which were previously to CBD, completely debilitating. Wow. So, wow. Um, yeah. And then, you know, just giving it to my pets and then clients and my family's pets and those sort of things. It's just, it's, it's like, pff, you know, where's this been? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's, that's how I got started. <laughs> Gotcha. Gotcha. Thank you for sharing that, Jane. So, so was it something where, like, Whitney, you reached out to Jane, or Jane, did you kind of get into it on your own? Well, so interestingly enough, I actually started using Green Compass, um, like, right after it first launched. Mm -hmm. So, um, I actually had another friend who was who had uh, joined it. So that was two. That was last. It was like uh, March, I think, of 2019. Okay. Um, and I started, I didn't really feel like I needed it necessarily for anything, um, but there was just so much hype about it. And, and I've always been just the natural person, like all organic. I have had my own organic food business and I'm very, very particular about um, what I put in my body and so it just seemed like such a good product that I was like why not just see if it helps with anything or just you know buy it to support my friend and then 
um, you know, I wasn't actually expecting to use it at the beginning because I don't have a lot of things that I thought it could really help with. Um, however, I started taking it just to see like what kind of response my body would have to it um, in the evening and I slept so much better. Like I didn't even know I had problems with sleep. Like I would sleep all night, mm -hmm. but I wake up now and have so much more energy. So my sleep is more efficient or something. So it just, it makes the quality of the sleep so much better. Even if um, like I was getting the quantity of sleep still, but I can wake up earlier now and be just energized uh, for the day, which never used to be the, I would just always be tired before. So this helps um, definitely me with sleep a lot. So that's the main purpose. That's the main reason I use it. Yeah. Um, but then, yeah, when I realized that Whitney was, when she reached out to me, then it was more of a fun thing. Cause I was like, Oh, I love that stuff. And yeah, that's a great company. I trust the products. I trust everything about it, which takes a lot for me. And, um, and the fact that Whitney was doing it, I was like, I'll just jump right on board and do it with you. Cause I totally believe in it. So, you know, that was how that happened. We call each other spirit animals because we both have pet businesses and it's just, we obviously went to high school together and have this long lasting friendship and relationship. But like now it's this crazy thing where we're like, wait, what? You know, you do this. I do that. You what? <laughs> we're like the same, we're the same person. We're the same and, person. Um, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's, um, it's really, it's a really cool thing, a really cool partnership and mm -hmm. a person to, to share it with and someone to understand like, you know, the products and the business yeah. and it's awesome. Yeah. And not for not, definitely helps that she's your friend, that she yeah. knows your history and, right. you know, she probably, you know, she told you everything that you needed to know and pointed you in the right direction, I would assume. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We actually, we actually have our, our first uh, question here. So this is from uh, my sister, Janet. So she, she's asking, and again, all the opinions on here, we're, we're not doctors. We are just telling you, like, they're going to tell you their experience with it. So, you know, don't, don't try to sue us or anything. But so her, her question is um, that, so her statement is that she's tried taking CBD oil, but she finds that it keeps her up more and she gets hyper. And she has that same effect with Benadryl too. So have you ever seen that before? And it, is it, and you know, I know that there's a big difference too, because there's a difference between getting CBD from a company like Green Compass, which I know you're going to get into in a little bit, than ordering stuff from, you know, a random company on Amazon. So, you know, can you give any insight to at least that, that question that she has? That would be my main point. What you just said is um, that you really, because CBD isn't regulated by the FDA at all, you can literally put whatever you want to say on a bottle and wow. sell it. So it, it is very um, important that you find companies that uh, get third-party testing on their product to okay. make sure and verify that whatever is listed in the ingredients is actually what's in the product and the amount of the CBD oil. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the, the companies use fillers and, or like they'll use the whole plant just because it's cheaper. Um, yeah. but then you're getting a lot less if, if maybe just even a little tiny bit of CBD actually in that product. So it really, right. your body could be reacting to a lot of different things and it might or might not be actually what CBD is doing for you. Um, there's so much, there's just so many different, even if it is 100%, um, CBD, if it's not organic certified organic, um, the soil can have pesticides it can have fertilizer yeah. you know all those things are going directly into your bloodstream so whatever you're taking it really needs to be you need to be sure that it is high quality and organic because any of those things can affect your your brain so you could be pesticides it can be making you stay up you know right. it could also be that the cbd is um but if it is you just need to take your dosage down a little bit so there's, there's a lot of different, um, it works differently for everyone. Mm -hmm. And you can start with like one drop and go from there. But sometimes one drop can make a difference for someone. 
and sometimes people have to take like a whole drop or full like 30 drops or whatever so right. it really depends on your body and you have to experiment very very small because if you're overdoing it mm -hmm. then yeah that could also have that effect okay that's right i and i'll add to that just to 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 emphasize her point so green compass has a coa a certificate of analysis on every bottle so it's literally like a scannable you know like you put your bo your bottle up to a qr uh, code yeah okay. and and it it will tell you legit like what is in every bottle um because just like jane said um you don't know i mean some cbd that you're buying at the gas station doesn't even have a cbd in it right you have no idea what's in those bottles if it does not have a coa right Okay. So, and then, um, again, just to further her point, if you're oversaturating, then um, our suggestion usually is the benefit of CBD is to establish your sweet, your sweet spot. Okay. So you start with microdosing. So you do mm -hmm. drops. Like sometimes some CBDs will say, you know, take a full dropper and then see you later. You have no idea what it is that you're putting in your body, right. first of all. And but you know, that dosage may not be proper for you versus Joe down the road. Sure. So um, you like microdosing low and slow and yeah. see you away. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, it's one of those things that is really not, um, so some people just assume, just have the mentality and I'm actually one of these people that more is better. So it took me so long to realize like you gotta dial back because more Thanks, is more isn't necessarily going to do anything so you're just wasting expensive product if if you get the same benefits and all the benefits that you need mm -hmm. from just as few drops so if that works for you then you're very lucky because you can you can get by with like one bottle for a while so yeah. right actually my sister just commented too so she was told to take the full the full dropper so yeah, yeah. My seeing uh helps there and uh you know for for myself and you know i don't, I don't want to speak for matthew but i know that we were both on antidepressants like i'll take xanax for bed and sometimes it'll put me right out but i've, I've realized that it also takes me a very long time to get out of bed some days and that's very good to hear from you jane that your experience was not only was your sleep better that when you woke up that you were good to go yeah. that's that's very refreshing to hear because that... sometimes it's just it takes so long for me to get out of bed that is the main main difference that I re realized because I would be one to hit the snooze button like over and over and over and over. And I'm like, I just need five more minutes. Right. And now it goes off and I'm like, oh, happy, happy day. Like I'm ready to make coffee. <laughs> so yeah, it makes, I mean, if, if nothing else, try it for that. Gotcha. Yeah. Definitely. Um, okay, so pardon my ignorance. <laughs> hey, we're all, let's we're start all from the beginning. Though. <laughs> Let's start from the beginning. Is CBD a byproduct of marijuana? No. Not so at all. CBD, it doesn't come from that at all. There is cannabidiol oil, however you say it, in marijuana. Yes. Okay. But there are two different plants. So there's marijuana plant and then there's a hemp plant. Okay. Our CBD comes from the hemp plant, which is not going to get you high regardless of what you do with it. Um, it has trace amounts of C THC, but it's not marijuana. So it's, it's a completely different plant in the same family as marijuana. Okay. So hemp is legal. Right. Hemp marijuana. Is legal. <laughs> and all, all, all 50 states are, uh, the legal amount of THC to be included in CBD products is 0 0.03. So any trace amounts that you will find in green compass are fall in, in those lines. So, and, and to that point, there are, um, we have, we do have two different, uh, two, di we have full spectrum, which is the, which includes those trace amounts of THC and then also isolates which are zero THC. They have the THC completely removed, yeah. And which do you guys use? Full I spectrum. I use the full spectrum because it's, it's more readily, um, I think it, it, your brain knows what to do with it a little more, your body knows how to process it a little more. So our bodies make 
um, receptors that are similar to CBD, full spectrum. So when we put that in our bodies, it already like knows immediately what to do with it. It's like a completely um, sin, um, symbiotic, yeah, like relationship there where it recognizes it. So the difference, um, and, and I think that isolates would do the, I think it has the same um, property. I just feel like the full spectrum, the THC trace amounts help to absorb into the bloodstream or something. They help with, I don't quote me on that, but they, they do help your body get more out of it. You can tell a difference. And by trial and error, you chose the full spectrum. Right. Excellent. Okay. Um, but to that same, like what I'm trying to explain about the science, I'm not, I, I don't have all the words right, but um, it's why your body can, can react to this uh, better than like medication. Medication is going to treat a symptom and T, uh, CBD treats the root of the problem. So it goes and kind of stabilizes whatever is unstable okay and then that you know fixes the rest of the the stuff you know so like say your anxiety is a is a is a, a byproduct of um some some chemical in your brain that's not like you have too much of it or too little of it or whatever right so what cbd is going to do is go in there and just kind of balance that balance whatever is causing that so then it's not treating the anxiety but because it's create it's it's stabilizing whatever was the cause of the anxiety the anxiety kind of dissipates right so it's this it it it's not um it doesn't treat symptoms is what i'm saying if that makes sense yeah so it's not a cure right it's not a cure yeah. by any right. no no yeah. It's not a cure, but it will help to balance yeah. the system, right? Um, yes. And again, we are not we are not scientists and doctors here. We're so not doctors. Know. I know this could probably come back to me I, because I'm I'm not. Was, good at, no, 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 you're good. You're good. <laughs> I mean, you're perfect. you're explaining it as best you can. At least you're not trying to like BS us and, and like, like. I wish I could. Uh, yeah, like I can see just, what I'm trying just, to say. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. It's amazing stuff. That's all you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to be rude either. Like, there's there's a lot of people chiming in with questions. So one of them oh, cool. uh, from uh, from uh, Delena. What's going on, Delena? How you doing? There's some people on here from Trivia, which we got tomorrow night. But we'll get to all that. Awesome. In a little bit. We're all we're it's all CBD uh, right now. She wants. We to love know. trivia. <laughs> yeah. uh, so Delena wants to know if if it helps with epilepsy, um, and she and she's heard that it has. But have you? I'm not saying that you've experienced it, but have you heard, you know, about it, it working and helping with, with uh, people with epileptic seizures? So that's the one thing that it actually is FDA approved for, right, Whitney? Um, that they've actually established that it does for sure help with that. Mm -hmm. Is that right, Whitney? Would you yeah. Me if I'm wrong. Um, but I believe that that is the one thing that they've actually said, uh, there's a there's a medical version of it for that specifically okay. well and and i think um it's worth saying that you know without without saying that it does like cure or anything so the the products are the tincture right mm -hmm. that would be epilepsy i think would be what i my brain goes to saying that um would be the what we would recommend someone take for that um it it definitely is beneficial to those things and like jane jane howard explained like those receptors are just like it's amazing how it knows where to go yeah your body and, knows what to do with it you. yeah yeah gotcha yeah gotcha so it's definitely one of those things because uh, another question here is to, uh, here too, and I just want to let people know again, we're, we're not doctors or scientists here. We're you know uh, 
Jane and Whitney are just going to get feedback as far as their personal experiences or, you know, the people that they talk to and work with at Green Compass. Um, Heather, by the way, big, up, big ups to Heather. Um, she has Crohn's and she wants to know if there's like a recommended dosage button. And I think she kind of jumped on a little bit late. Is this another thing too, where, you know, you recommend whether no matter what you have, do you recommend everybody just kind of start off micro dosing and then just going from there to see how their body reacts to it? Definitely, because there's not, um, there's not a real, because it's not FDA um, approved as a drug necessarily, there's no actual dosing chart that's, that's like universally accepted anywhere, right? So you can, I mean, what I've done for different things is just Google it and say, you know, what's the common use, you know, dosage for this issue and just kind of find what I can find and, and kind of take a grain of salt with it and see. But I do think that the microdosing is the best way to start just to see how it affects you. Um, but certain issues may require or may respond a little better to more um, for that specific thing. So there's not, yeah, we definitely cannot prescribe a certain dosage for anything like that. Right. Um, but your best bet in general, whatever it's for is to trial and error. And you can't, the good thing is it's, it's so safe that there's nothing that could hurt you by trying different amounts. Okay. Yeah. No and, the, and the goal really is to establish that sweet spot. You, you want to, you, you, you don't want to oversaturate because that's where you get into that, like, you know, for example, Brian, your sister, you know, uh, oversaturating and then it, it has the reserves, the reverse effect of what it's intended to do. Sure. Um, so you you want to start with that micro dosing and then work up to that sweet spot and the, the goal is satisfaction it's not yeah. dissatisfaction yeah. you know so um yeah and, and matt i think matt, uh, go ahead matt oh yeah i got like two more ignorant stupid questions <laughs> you have to stop saying none of, that. No, the, yeah none <laughs> of the questions are ignorant. i'm learning just as much as you are man so you're good <laughs> Obviously, it's available in an oil, an ingestible oil, correct? Um, correct? Correct. Is that it? No. So, well, it's, it, we also have creams um, and bath bombs and all kinds of things. So, you, we have topical creams. So, if you're more comfortable with that, if you have um, arthritis, pains in your body, <laughs> right? <laughs> um then the the topical or a combination of the topical and from the inside so then you're treating the addressing the problem from both sides right from the inside and the outside um bath bombs are great because you just soak in them and your skin soaks it up our skin is actually the the largest organ in our entire body so what we put on our skin goes directly into our bloodstream um that's another thing I think people aren't necessarily aware of when they're just putting stuff on their body and how it's affecting their brain and just, just regular like lotions or whatever. You don't know what it has in it. It's all affecting you, right? So I would say before you start CBD or anything else, take like a detox for a few weeks or a week or something and just stop using anything with a bunch of stuff in it and like level the playing field, right? To right. get that stuff out of your, then see how you feel, then add the CBD because you have to get, there, there could be other stuff causing any of these issues, right? And you, just to take CBD, it might, might or may not, you know, may or may not help balance that stuff. But if you think about all that you're putting on your body, you know, it, it you could be putting one thing on your body and then taking CBD and it's just like, so I, I personally, just from being an organic person would say, clear your stuff up and then add CBD because that will help with everything. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, uh, the next question, I think this would be a great segue too into talking about Green Compass. This is from, uh, from uh, Kristen Rosser. She wants to know what are the benefits uh, of buying from Green Cup of CBD instead of in a store and, you know, how you guys would help guide your customers. Whitney, you want to take this? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm like taking all of them. <laughs> no. Well, so uh, 
Green Compass is amazing because it's it's directly farm to family, right? It's it's um you everything is um it's vertically integrated. So like Green Compass bottles it, packages it, farms it, grows it. Um and it's not sold in gas stations. It's um, you know, it you're um you're benefiting from the purest organic CBD oil to boot from Wilmington, North Carolina. Hello. Hey, is it local? Awesome. And it's from Wilmington? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 So, so our farmers um, are located in Chadburn, North Carolina, started as um, sweet potato farmers and then <laughs> Um, yeah, so now the, our farms are, are, are local and everything from extraction to, you know, it, it landing on your family's table is done completely locally and overseen by Green Compass. And again, that COA on the bottom of the bottle um, guarantees that there's a 30 day money back guarantee. And um, so you can test the product if you don't like the way it tastes, which, by the way, we have like multiple flavors, multiple strengths. What's your um, favorite flavor? My favorite mint. flavor? Yeah. What did you say, Jay? I like the mint. <laughs> you like the mint? Yeah, what do you like? I like the natural. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a total hippie, but. Um, <laughs> yeah, I started out with the natural. I, I did yeah. start out with a natural and I liked it, but then the mint grew on me, so. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they're all really, there's also cinnamon. Okay. Um, and so, I mean, just to not go off course with, with the answer to that question, but it really is so comforting to know, you know, like where it's coming from, yeah. who the farmers are. I mean, sure. this company is, is what, like a year, not even a year and a half old. And, and it's just like such a cool thing to be a part of. And mm -hmm. so just, we know, we see the, the founders, we yeah. see these people on a daily basis, you know, it's not like some, uh, far away, just, like that's far. you're not just a number. Yeah. yeah. Right. And yeah, and you know, like where this stuff is coming from. And that is just truly for me um i'll take it for the rest of my life this is like my forever yeah product. wow yeah that's the endorsement I mean, and, right yeah. Yeah. and if we can um uh talk testimonials for a little bit um i i've got like i know that i've kind of given you mine and whitney's given you some of hers um but some of my clients have given me permission to share a little bit about um why they take it as well and it's you know, there's, there's stuff that it's helped with um, kind of all over the place. Like I have a, one of my clients started taking it because he um, lost all of his hair, but it wasn't like regular baldness. It was called um, some kind of alopecia where it just kind of like, I don't know, it's like something related to celiac disease or something in it. And he lost all of his hair. Um, and he started taking it just because of the off chance. He had read online or something that it might, it could help with that. And after two or three months of taking it every day, uh, like all of his hair has grown back now. It started growing back after a couple months and then it just continued. And so he like swears by it, um, but he also uses it to, he, he, well, that was the reason he started taking it. And then once he started taking it, he realized that he didn't have to take whatever he was taking for his anxiety anymore. Mm -hmm. So it had all kinds of benefits that he was not even expecting. So it's pretty cool. Um, Whitney, do you have any other, like other people's testimonies? Oh gosh. I mean, <laughs> yeah, how long do we have? <laughs> 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 yeah. I, I mean, it's, it's just a trip. I, I think to your point, it's, it's, um, the, the, the broad range of what CBD can do for people is just really, 
I can't think of a of a of a question that would come and I would be like, no, I don't think you would benefit from this. Right. Yeah. You know, I, I really, I really can't. I mean, between there's also skincare, mm. um, oh, face yeah. wash, yeah. Baby peels, um, the you backbone. Giving it to like, the pets. Are they like dog treats and stuff? They're not treats. Oil. It's the same tincture. It's the same thing. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We have two, I, two types of the the pet tincture, um, uh, and um, one is natural flavor, and one is bacon flavor. My dogs are obsessed with the bacon flavor. Like he'll <laughs> eat it straight from the. All dogs are obsessed with bacon flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> so you just you give it to them straight up as the oil. You don't put it in their food. You just you can, but mine just love it straight. So nice. Whitney yeah. makes Whitney makes dog treats with them. I do. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, yeah, you can you can do what you want with it. It's I mean, they love it. My parents have a 13, 14 year old dog, and she. Um, has a really hard time walking, getting up and down stairs and that kind of stuff and um, pants all the time. And they were taking her, I would say probably about six months ago or something, they took her to the vet and they were like, you know, I can't remember what they said it was associated with, to be honest with you, but um, they started giving her a CBD and she's, I, I, will, I will not say that she's like, you know, all grand and great, but right. she, um, she doesn't have such a hard time getting up and down and my parents don't worry about her as much. And so um, I have a billion of those stories. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Um, I just saw a question that someone asked um, about the smaller, okay, Janet asked about smaller sample size bottles. Um, we don't have those to purchase, but um, we do have an amazing um, refund if you don't like it, uh, protocol. So if you were to order um, anything from from us, from the website or whatever, you have 30 days to use it and try it out, which is um, really good because sometimes it takes a week or two or even longer for it to really start to build up in your system yeah. and to a point where you, you start to notice anything different. Mm -hmm. um, so it gives you a full, they give you a full 30 days. You can try the bottle. I mean, the bottle can be empty by the time you're done with those 30 days. Um, and if you are just not, you didn't notice anything from it or you didn't like the taste of it or whatever, like Whitney said, you just fill out a return slip, send the bottle back, and they refund you the full amount of the purchase price. I don't think that you, you get refunded on the shipping, but um, I think that that actually would be better than a smaller sample size bottle because that sample size bottle, you might not get to use enough um, to notice the benefits, so it wouldn't really serve a purpose. And because you're gonna love it. <laughs> yeah, and because you're yeah, gonna love it. Go. I'm sold. Yeah. yeah I'm telling you. <laughs> so, don't I don't anything, else, <laughs> don't, yeah. Yeah, anything else, you have to kind of build it up in your system. Yeah. Well. So you know, they give you the opportunity to do that, and then if it really doesn't work or do anything for you, send it back. So it's really risk free, um, except that's for right. shipping. But that's not bad. Yeah. So. And so, you said no side effects, right? No, I mean, I don't know of any side effects necessarily. I, it, it might make you tired or something, but um, I, th there's no dangerous side effects. No. There, there are testimonials too. I mean, it's, it's like everything else to, you know, <laughs> the products will have effects on people differently. So yeah. I've heard sometimes um, people, um, we have a forum where we discuss feedback of that kind of stuff and and you know some people have said things about dreams or anything like that but you can't i mean can we really attribute it to cbd or or what may be you know the um, deeper the deeper sleep that you're getting so it's like right. Right. yeah you're getting that well actually i've been told you, the REM is not actually when you dream is that right anyway that's a whole yeah but the ability to remember the dreams it might be because you got that deeper sleep yeah. Oh, gotcha. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. So how how and I'll, and I'll put it on the on the link on the on this feed right here too. 
Um, you know, so how would people go about getting this through Green Compass through YouTube? You know, and I can go ahead and put it on there just so, so people can know what the link is. Is it long and complicated or should we do that after? Like what would be the easiest? That's long and complicated, but we might want to do it after because Whitney has a different link than me. Okay. So you can share both of them or whatever. Oh, perfect. Um, we have just different websites. It's the same website technically, but it's, it's going to be Whitney's your, site or my site. Your um, sales reps and you get credit for what you sell. Yeah. yeah so and and really you know that you can order from either one doesn't matter but talk about whitney tell them about the um auto ship option yeah um so just for technicality purposes um as far as the way that green compass operates and ordering it is um you know we are we are advocates of green compass and so in those purposes we are your representatives we're here for you we will answer any questions you have we'll talk to you about dosing strength flavor you know all that kind of stuff like whatever your ailments are talk to us and then when you're ready to order you would go to whomever's website and um you have the option to benefit from auto ship which means that you get um of uh, your order replenished every month and after your second consecutive order your shipping is then free so um you know nobody likes to pay for shipping yeah so um there's that benefit and then like jane howard said there's the the 30-day money-back guarantee and if for whatever reason, you know, you're unsatisfied, you can, you can always send it back and try something different. Or um, even if you do an auto ship and you're unsatisfied, then you, you will still benefit that a 20% 20, 20 discount. Did I say that already? No. Yeah, so basically, right, you get, if you do an auto ship order, you, you're not locked into anything. That's, that's a main, thing that people have a question about like they don't want to sign up for an auto ship when they don't know that they're going to love the product right um so like whitney said if you do three consecutive months of auto ship that third month is going to be free shipping and then from there on out but say and you, you're always getting the 20 percent discount mm. and you're getting the 20 percent yeah. discount which is the same as advocates get on their products Okay. So um, it's just without the having to sign up and you don't get commissions and stuff. But so say that you ordered on auto ship and you used the product and you decided that it wasn't for you, then you can cancel your auto ship at any time. So it's not locking you in. It's not like a lot of companies that I've heard of where it just is like impossible to cancel right. or edit or change or say like you signed up for a monthly auto ship and you still have plenty of product at the end of the month, then you can edit it to not run until the next month or whatever. Like you can, it's so flexible. Mm -hmm. um, they're not trying to like trick you into anything, which is I've actually found with other companies that it kind of feels that way. So, um, yeah just that's a little rough, you know reassuring when if you want to try something for 20 percent off i would always suggest to sign up for the auto ship just in case yeah yeah, yeah. no i mean it, it's definitely smart and obviously since uh you know a little backstory whitney and jane had a little online event what was it like last month or maybe a month month and a half ago and yeah all these days go together so i have no <laughs> idea <laughs> ever since the quarantine it's yeah 578 million right yeah. but uh you know i joined one of their little zoom meetings and got to learn a little bit more about the company it's something that i'm getting ready to pull the trigger on myself because I suffer from anxiety and depression and then you know i, I get tired of running out of medicine and i gotta keep making doctor's appointments and doing all that and you know if i can get something that i can knock out you know not cure it just like you guys said but can definitely help then why not and uh you know i just think it's fantastic now question for me do you notice a difference between like uh, you know obviously you, you know where you're at as far as dosage do you prefer to take it at night or during the day like do you notice a difference between the two or Whitney, do you want to take this and then I'll consistency is key 
Okay. Consistency is total key. Um, I, for, you know, it's whatever your purpose is. And once you establish your sweet, your sweet spot, mm -hmm. you will understand what your body is asking for. You'll, you'll understand for me personally, I dose morning and night. Okay. And what's crazy, like I was saying before, is that that serves two completely different purposes for me. Yeah. Like today I've been super shaky because guess what? I didn't look, you can tell because <laughs> I didn't take CBD this morning. Yeah. And uh, I mean, literally that's been a hindrance my, my entire life. Like this tremor is just, it, uh, it drives me nuts and it gives me anxiety. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I don't sleep. <laughs> so, yeah. but it serves all of those purposes. Yeah. It really does. So like yeah. if I take my CBD, my proper dosage in the morning, which for me it's equal, um, and I do the 750 full spectrum Okay. and I do a half dropper morning and night. Okay. And it, it helps me with my tremor during the day and sleep at night. So that is, it's so interesting too, because I actually, it will, um, if I, if I take the same dose that I take at night, it makes me tired. And I, I do the 1000, um, I do about half of a dropper of the 1000, um, which is equivalent to doing a full dropper of the 500. So it's just the amount of TH of, of the CBD in the bottle. Um, it's just cheaper that way because per, per uh, milligram or whatever. Sure. But if I, so I don't usually use it during the day because I, I, I will get tired. But I can use the isolate during the day if I have like too much anxiety or, you know, just I can get a little shaky yeah. as well, um, usually because I drink too much coffee. But it does help. I can take it like if I'm feeling that anxious feeling, I can take the isolate and it, it addresses the same thing without making me tired. So I think that for me, the THC helps kind of calm me down. Um, it just it it really affects people differently though. So some people can take like my friend who with the alopecia, he takes a dropper of the one thousand in the morning and at night every day, and then goes to work and builds houses. So you just it just really depends on your your chemistry how it's going to react. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, because that's when a lot of the questions is people asking, well, how much should I take? And you know, again, disclaimer: we are not doctors or scientists. And even if we were, it's just like antidepressants, right? They give it to you and you have to try it. You have to try what works. So. The only thing about the antidepressants is that it comes with a whole bag of other shit. Right. <laughs> yeah. so that's the beauty of this stuff is that it does not come with that bag of other shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, and it's the same thing. If you're doing and if you're doing it and dosing properly, then it's, it's doing what it's intended to do. And and the benefit of CBD is that it's organic and it's pure and it's not all that other shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But look so, up, look up the cannabinoid system from your body because our body has what's called a cannabinoid system and we create cannabinoids all the time. So CBD is a cannabinoid that is created by a plant, which is why our body can recognize it and use it. So look that up online. I mean, that's science. That's not made up. <laughs> so you can read about that and understand a little better what I was trying to explain that I did a botchy, botchy job of earlier, but you can look <laughs> that up online and it will tell you like the science behind it. Awesome. It's called yeah, your endo endocannabinoid system. Okay. <laughs> now you know for sure that I am neither a scientist or, nor a doctor. Well, I mean, even though you're neither one of those things, why don't you tell people about the uh, the yoga classes that they can join you on, though? I know you just got done wrapping one up before this. So talk oh, yeah. I've got this still set up. <laughs> um, we, I do a yoga class online during this quarantine anyway, um, every Tuesday at 6, so on Zoom. So you can join me and um, it just helps with accountability, I think, and it's more fun to do stuff with people. So um, join Whitney and me next week at six o'clock on Tuesday. And I'll send Brian the link to that group if you wanna join it. Um, it's just a real 
casual, fun little yoga class that you can do from home. You don't have to have your video on. So it's fun. You should join us. Oh, no video. I'm not going to that one. You can't. <laughs> you can have your video on. But like if you don't, some people aren't comfortable. Like they're starting yoga and they don't want sure. everyone to see them doing yoga. So you are free, free to not be on video if you don't want to. I might have to do that one. I tried I tried hot yoga one time and it was it was brutal. Oh gosh. It's such a great I did, time. I did not know it was hot yoga and I was already committed. <laughs> not fun. I, I took my first time fun. when you're stuck at home to start a <laughs> yoga practice. Yeah. That's yeah. true. I took my first yoga class on a paddle board. Oh the, wow. my my first Your paddle first? board experience. And my first yoga class, all oh. up in one little terrible experience. Oh. No, I bet you were like a I, Well, just because, like, I, I'm not, you know, I don't excel at either. I love them <laughs> both, but um, it was just, I, I'm That's not as strong fun. as I think I am. <laughs> That's pretty fun, though. Doing paddle boarding. I don't know about paddle boarding and yoga at the same time. <laughs> it was hard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can imagine. <laughs> My legs still hurt. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> a long time ago. We got some other uh, some other page alumni in the house. Matt Bowes, Eric Van Dorn. Yes. Oh yeah. What up, fellas? Hey, guys, big pun. What's going on, buddy? I just want to give to everybody. It's, it's, it's been honestly a really good turnout on here. Uh, Elena, who else we got? Kristen, Ash, uh, Logan Woods. So my sister Jana was on. She had to go put the kids to bed. Um, awesome. daughter's mom Heather was watching Yoshi so I don't want to go Yoshi! down so fun but uh no a lot of good questions and a lot of people are saying thanks and I mean I, I'm thanking you personally because I mean I know Matthew learned a lot today I, I sure as hell learned a lot a lot of people that I'm on board just joined on here learned a lot and I can't wait to put this out on YouTube and get the episode out as well on the podcast because uh, I mean it is just like when I was talking to you two about it it is kind of like a stigma to where like the word with podcasts like people either really know about podcasts or they don't even know the first thing about it it's almost like that with yeah. CBD like people either are really knowledgeable of it or don't really know where to start or what dosage so I mean yeah. conversations like this that help with the stigma like oh well you know i can do this i don't have to be like a professional cbd taker to yeah. try to get better just trust the brand like even if you don't order it from us although i do believe that yes. we <laughs> order the best product but even if you didn't um make sure that you do some research and trust what you're putting in your body um, CBD is not equal that all cbd is not equal there's not. no regulations so you got to be careful but Brian and Matt, we're so grateful that you had this conversation with us. Yes. So, hey, thank you. Matt, no problem. Yeah. Everybody learned a lot. Yeah, yeah. I definitely learned a lot. And we're doing what we can during the quarantine. So, no, yeah. I appreciate you two being on. And uh, I'll post. So everybody watching, everybody listening, go to the Zero Dark Nerdy Facebook page. I'm going to put their contact info on there as far as the Green Compass stuff. Feel free to reach out to them. I can't uh, wait to order it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to, yeah. <laughs> Legit. Is it like sold in stores? It. No, it's oh, only sold directly. Only sold directly. Nice. So this really is farm to table. There's no oh, yeah. little man. Just, yeah. I like oh, that. and it, it's super fast. Like when you order, they get that right from Wilmington to you. I mean, it's it's nice. it's real fast. And so, I mean, yeah. we're we're huge advocates for supporting local too. So I mean, to me, this is yeah. a win-win-win. Totally. So you're shipping nationwide, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, no. yep. Very yep. Nice. Yep. Yeah. And if anyone is interested in the actual business opportunity, feel free to reach out to us. Brian, you can put our information yeah. on there. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. put all that on there again. Make sure you check out. I'll put it on the website here soon enough, but for immediate causes, it'll be on the Zero Dark Nerdy Facebook page. I'll put their cool. uh, the website info on there for each of their pages on Green Compass and you know, yeah. people can reach out with questions. I'm sure you'll get more questions coming your way too. So. Okay, that'll okay. be great. Is there a, and yeah, send us a Green us. Compass Facebook page? Um, I feel like Whitney and I should make our own little Facebook page. <laughs> so we might do that. <laughs> do uh, just see, so, <laughs> yeah, we, we each have our own pages. Yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely, we'll provide a link and, um, and we'll just send a friend us on Facebook, friend us on Instagram. Yeah, there you go. And um, that's the beauty of it, you know, like we're your people. So um, right. we'll we'll walk hand in hand with you the whole way. Yeah. 
Well, you've, you've been our peoples for, for 20 some years now. <laughs> That's right. so big, big shout outs to uh, everybody from Page High School, no matter when you graduated. Yes. So again, yeah. Jean, Whitney, Matthew, thank you so much. Uh, definitely thank you, guys. Uh, thank you. From everybody that's listening. So, again, yeah. uh, be on the lookout. The episode itself will be out next week at the very latest uh, as far as the podcast and YouTube. And this will be on the Facebook page. So if you need to go back, flip through, just come on the Zero Dark Nerdy Facebook page, and I'll share it on, on your individual pages as well, too. So sorry, cool. I didn't mean to point. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That was so much fun. Yeah, that was awesome. Thank you guys so Thank much. You Thank, Thank you, ladies. Thank you. All right. Bye, y'all. Yes! Yeah! Victory! And anger management? Fuck anger management.